Hello Taurus, how are you guys doing today? In this reading, it's going to be about you. It's all about you. It's like somebody's asking you a question. How are you? And then, you know, we always say, I'm fine. But this is going to be a little bit of a deeper reading. It's how are you really? So let's get started. Let's clear the energies off the table and any previous readings that I've done and send good positive vibes through to you guys always. So let's get the first card out. It's going to be a Moonology card. We're going to have a look and see how you answer people when they say how are you this is what you say so let's and then we're going to go deeper and see what's really how are you really so how are you this is what you will say to people show the world the real you oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy ah uh, that's interesting because if i'm saying how are you and then the card that comes up we show the world the real you full moon in aquarius energy aquarius is a very um one of the the zodiac signs is a little bit eccentric. Okay, so that's quite interesting. I feel like there's element, there's a lot of that people don't know about you, and you don't show the world the real you guys. There is parts of you that you may be keeping hidden. I kind of got this vibe. Two different stories come through. This is going to be a bit strange, but I kind of like feel like. Um, there could be somebody out there that's kind of in the closet about many different things about who they truly are. Um, I feel like you're doing, take it as it resonates with you. I mean, it's like somebody hiding the fact that they are a witch in their heart or somebody hiding the fact that they um, are even with regards to their sexuality, not exactly who they're representing to the world. And with the show, The World, The Real You, it's like literally full moon cycle. It shows that you are coming to a stage where I think you are going to be revealing a lot more of who you are to the world there's an energy coming through this is not even coming from the cards just yet that i feel like you're following what people want you to do or you're being good in some kind of way it's like you're behaving you're, you're trying to please everybody else but you're not really pleasing yourself you're not being true to yourself here i feel like it's building up in you that's so interesting two of cups has come up here there we go Three of Pentacles has come up here. And the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse position. There's that energy of not really being you. And let's see what card is this. you got a decision to make. Um, for a lot of you guys, it's about your, your sexual orientation. Hey, i got to put it out there. For a lot of you guys, you have a decision to make about this. What are you going to do here? Are you going to come out of the closet? Are you going to stay in there? You're you're very stable in life here. I can see the Three of Pentacles. For others of you, this is something else. This is something else. This has got to do with um, you as a person. It can even have to do with you making choices. You know, whenever I see a two of cups, like it does indicate something that it can even indicate your, your passion, your life passion, what it is you want to do, who you are, um, who you really are. It's almost like your outer self, your inner self in the two of cups being there. It's in the reverse position. That is out of balance. I even pick up this energy, for example, of somebody doing what the family wants them to do. Say, for instance, your entire family are lawyers, you know, through your pentacles energy, lawyers, signing of contracts, you know, that kind of energy. It can be anything, this. And it's like you're doing what is expected of you because it is secure, it is safe. But in your heart, it's not really what you want with the Queen of Pentacles being in the reverse reverse position. With the Seven of Cups coming up here, I feel like you're in this place of, you don't feel emotionally satisfied, that's for sure. With the Seven of Cups coming in the reverse position, I feel like you're not being yourself at all. Um, you're showing everybody what they want you to do or want you, how they wish you to be. And that's what you're doing to keep the peace. But emotionally, you're not, you're not okay, 100%. Because if you're not truly living who you're meant to be, it's like you're living this half life. You know what I mean? And it is getting to you. I do feel like you are going to make a decision here. Uh, there's some reason I almost feel like you feel like you're lying to yourself here with the Queen of Pentacles being in the reverse position. And it's causing you even to feel insecure as well with regards to who you are in life. I feel like when you do um, sort of talk to people around you or family around you, it's almost like you're not 100% confident um, around people. And this kind of energy, because I feel like you're not really revealing all of yourself to your family or friends, people that know you. And because of that, it's like you they don't really sometimes even click with you because they can feel that maybe there's something off with you. It's because you're not 100% being genuine about everything that lies in your heart here. You are, I feel like you are going to end up coming out and not coming out necessarily that like you're coming out of the closet kind of vibe, but who you really are 
and the person that you really are. Another thing as well, I just want to tell you, sometimes, have you ever heard that uh, that, 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 that saying of um, your vibe attracts your tribe? I kind of like feel like uh, when you start being genuinely who you are, you will eventually be so genuinely in who you are that that energy is going to attract more people around you where you can actually be yourself and you feel like you belong with those people. I feel like that's what will happen. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, don't give up, guys. Hold on to your vision. There is an energy coming here. This is you. You're really thinking about um, uh, being yourself here. You're really thinking about this entire situation. You might, you might seriously be thinking about even moving away from where you are just to be somewhere new where you can be yourself and be show those who you really are. You know, and that's it is actually how you're going to find the people who vibe like you as well. But don't give up here. I do feel like you are going to be able to be yourself, to be honest, with the hold your vision, fixed moon energy. Um, I feel like you think about this a lot as well. Wow, guys, you got to be out there. Yeah, the Empress in the reverse position, the High Priestess, beautiful. For some of you guys, yeah, for some of you guys, you are very spiritual people with the High Priestess coming up here, um, but your energy is off with the Empress being in the reverse position. I do kind of like feel like you're doing a lot of things to please those around you because the empress is taking making sacrifices um just to make everybody else happy and when it's in the reverse position the sacrifices are it's not like a nurturing energy anymore it's almost like um you're nurturing everybody else but you're not really nurturing yourself here with the high priestess energy being here i feel like some of you guys i gotta tell you i almost feel like some of you guys are like closet witches out there or you've got some kind of spirituality that is not the same as what your family is doing and this energy coming through this is you having to go a bit deeper into yourself no matter what this is you got to go deeper into yourself and really see who you are as a human being and work on that person being there um working on that person i feel like there's some things that you may need to learn here or there's some kind of um self-love that needs to take place here this is more on a spiritual level if it's for me i feel like go deeper into into yourself learn a lot more whatever this is to you uh, do some research because this is what the eight of pentacles means it literally means working on yourself and knowledge is power guys so get in there read a lot go onto youtube watch videos on whatever the subject is for you and hear what other people have got to say, see their journeys. And I feel like it's going to be able to guide you on your journey as well. Let's get a sacred traveler oracle out. I don't feel like you're going to stay in this not showing the world the real you. Look at that. you got to live, guys, because you want to live. Um, that's everything. This card, passion and pleasure. Um, savor your life and um, my voice nearly went away that is everything here that's not found in the queen of pentacles energy you're holding back a part of your energy here and you're not living fully because you're not revealing yourself fully as who you are a lot of some people i will tell you straight being who i am i am a witch as well and some of my family members never don't speak to me anymore um but to tell you the truth they were never really speaking to me anyway so it wasn't like a big loss you know people can kind of feel things in you like i said sometimes you might find that you're kind of like the outsider it's because you're really not actually revealing your true self and even if you're not revealing your true self the people who are not really on your side they can kind of pick it up already so it's not really like you're going to lose anyone they were never yours to begin with um and when you really start to be who you truly are you start to feel this energy you have this passion you have the pleasure and you start to live life save your life to the 100 fullest of who you're meant to be and it's worth it it is worth it because after you do this the joy that you feel about who you are it's like a passion that comes up in you the fire starts to burn in you life becomes almost magical you start to attract people to you who are like you as well and that's when you really start to live it's almost like this energy of you know just you know this is like a card of the gypsies if you can see it's like gypsies you know they are the free spirits and I feel like you need freedom. You need freedom. There's a lot of restriction going on around you. A lot of people expecting you to be a certain way. And you just want to be 
you you just want to be free spirit and I feel like you should just go for it when you feel ready to do so when it's your time even if you want to um, do a lot of research because this is what the high priestess talks about with regards to self-love and finding out more about you go there learn and then start to slowly begin to be you it doesn't mean that you have to go out there and have this big unveiling moment no just start to live yourself start to um, practice what you want to practice be who you want to be on a slow step-by-step level and eventually you look and your true self has just revealed itself on its own this is really beautiful Taurus if this is you I I feel you um you know comment below I'm going to comment back to you this reading it's something special to me I kind of feel the energy of it about you trying to be everything for everybody else but not being there for you and I feel like you are going to make that shift and it's going to be beautiful guys so i'm wishing you all the best going forward these were your messages from your spirit guides to you and from me to you as well light and love guys bye